Hello, sweet friends. Welcome and happy Wednesday, everyone. Thank you for stopping by Cottage to Courtyard to see what's new. I appreciate all the love and support you all bless my channel with so much. And I always hope that my videos brighten your day a little as well as inspire you to create something fun and beautiful for your home. As you can see in the thumbnail photo, we will be decorating my French country credenza to complement my kitchen and the island that we did in a previous video. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description box so you can go check it out. Okay friends, here's a look at the credenza. I've already added the lamps and a neutral table runner to start this vignette with. The first thing we're adding is this large rustic wooden riser that I've had for a few years. I've placed it in the center so that it will anchor the focal point which you'll see in a moment. Next we'll be placing this cheerful vibrant wreath which could either be daisies or sunflowers depending on the way you look at it and it's going on the riser for a punch of color that will really enhance what's coming up next. Wait for it. Yep. You guessed it, I had to bring out a rooster. He's large and handsome, but wait, he's getting dressed for the occasion. Just look at his necktie. Now we can get busy finishing up this vignette. First come the rustic white wooden candle holders and Mackenzie Child's candles for some ambiance. Then I'll add in other pieces to complete the look. I've added B plates at each end, and then next to those I placed a mini cutting board holding a black mug with a little B on each coffee mug handle for a bit of whimsy. You know what guys, I really like this simple vignette that we've done on the credenza top, and some people would say that's good, we don't need to add anything else, but you know what? I think Mr. Rooster needs a little company, so I invited two of his chicken friends to join us, and here they are on each side. They're subtle, but a nice addition to complete the vignette. Okay friends, here I've created a different look by hanging the wreath above the rooster with a B plate inside it to create interest and draw your eye up, which in turn creates a much larger presence of the focal point on and above the credenza. I simply added greenery and yellow flowers at the base of the rooster for color and texture and as you can see I removed the other two chickens. Here's another look for you that I did just by replacing the B plates with green dinner plates and sunflower salad plates for a more vibrant overall appeal.
In this last vignette, you can see that I took the wreath down and placed it back under the rooster. Then I added the other two chickens back in and kept the green and sunflower plates. You know what, my friends? I guess I ended up creating more than two different looks for the credenza in this video, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, just more ideas and inspiration, right? Alright my friends, that's going to do it for today's Decorate With Me video. I hope you enjoyed it and gathered a little inspiration for creating your own beautiful vignette. Be sure and leave me a comment on which look you liked best. Thank you all so much for spending time with me. You all take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye my lovelies.